It's the beauty of nature. Welcome back to the happy hour, guys, and welcome back to Roseland, Virginia, home of Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. You're going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong direction. The beer's this way. Recently, we had the good fortune to visit these guys and learn a little bit about their facility and their involvement in the community. This time around, we get to taste the beer. Let's meet Jason Oliver, the head brewer. This man knows how to make beer. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background and how you ended up here. I found out about brewing in an odd place in a career book called Unique Careers. I, I graduated college with a degree in history and a modern philosophy and had no idea what I want to do for a living. I found this book and I was flipping through it and got to the end of the bees. And at the end of the bees was Brewmaster. I'm just like, yes. It's sort of like the, the clouds parted and the angels are, ha ah, ah. You know, it was, it was that kind of moment. I've been brewing for almost 15 years now. I started in Baltimore back in 1996, and I was lucky enough to get my foot in the door at the right time. So here's a good question. What's the philosophy miner's philosophy of brewing beer? I was a history major, so I do have a place a strong emphasis on tradition and uh, history and culture. The system I have, I can do traditional and contemporary brewing techniques on it. The system was designed in Germany, but actually built in Japan by a company called Mayaki and it was removed from a brew pub that went out of business in Tokyo. So uh, you can see uh, my whole control panel is in Japanese. But does that language barrier stop Jason from making beers that made him one of the darlings of the 2009 and 2010 Great American Beer Festivals? In a word, no. Each beer is brewed differently. Each beer, not only recipe-wise, but technique-wise. And so I try to bring just, i would say, authenticity to the products. We personally went crazy for their gold leaf lager, their hoppy wheat pills, and no kidding, a barley wine that Jason had in the back that tasted like a Jolly Rancher. A Jolly Rancher made from beer. That looks, look, it's in a snifter. It must be good. I'm drinking the Dark Abbey, which is, uh, you know, a Belgian-inspired uh, Double or Abbey-style beer. I put a little Appalachian twist on this in that um, I, I have, I think the secret ingredient, which is not going to be secret now, is... Uh, we can bleep that out so nobody will know what you said. Where um, I had a little bit of uh, Appalachian <laughs> to this. Which, Stop saying it. Which, <laughs> which brings out, you know, it brings out a really dark uh, sugar flavor. Actually, two different types of Belgian yeast as well as red wine yeast uh, go into this beer. So it's sort of uh, my first foray into using uh, wine yeast in a beer, and I'm really enjoying it. So. And I'm about to. And Jimmy's going to kill me because he's going to want to try some too. No, you have to have your own. It's over there. This one's mine. All kidding aside, Jason Oliver makes a bewildering array of award-winning beers. And if you live in the Atlantic Coast region, Devil's Backbone is not that hard to get to. But what if you want this beer in something other than a growler? Well, we might have heard something about them starting up a production facility soon. However, it's going to take a while. So be patient, folks. Soon you'll be able to get these beers a little further away from like the brewery. I, said, I, was a traditional, I like to do a lot of traditional things, but I also like to do twists on some traditional beers or take a twist, brew it traditionally to get then switch up the ingredients a little bit. For those of you that don't speak advanced beer, that translates to this is going to be really yummy really soon. We have had an amazing time here at Devil's Backbone. Great food, a uh, center of the community, locally sourced materials, beer that is world-class being created in an environment where no one would expect to find beer. We've been very, very lucky to be here. They've been the most gracious hosts you could have imagined. We are so, so pleased to bring you this sort of, as yet, undiscovered gem. But it's coming your way soon, and the happy hour guys, we're here to bring it to you. We're gonna go have more beer, because it's really good. What you at home can't see is that Jimmy's completely ignoring what we're doing over here because he's drinking his own beer. Sometimes our job's really cool. <laughs>